Hey guys, it's Riley or Riles Thrifted over on Instagram and Poshmark and today I'm here with a day in the life of a full-time reseller and I'm starting very authentically. Obviously I'm laying on the couch in my pajamas. It is, I actually don't know what time it is, I'll put it here because I can't see since I put my phone. It's like before 12 and I woke up a few minutes ago. You probably think I'm crazy waking up around noon. Oh my gosh, my dog, hold on one second. Okay, we have to go get Olive <laughs> because she's scratching the door. Hello puppy, you wanna come inside? Wanna come inside, hold on. Say hi, you wanna say hi? Okay, so as I was saying, sorry, this is not, like obviously I just woke up. Um, I feel like when people do these, they usually like, you know, get ready for the day and then start filming, but I'm not. Um, anyway, so you probably think I'm crazy. Like, oh my God, that girl wakes up at noon, but I prefer to work at night actually. So I stayed up till 5 a.m. and I worked most of that. Um, was that my dad? Oh no, that's just some random person. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've already worked technically, like I track the amount of time I work on an app called Toggle. I don't love the app, but it's free and it works for what I want it to. And so if you're looking for an app that tracks your time, then I would check this one out, but there are other ones. Um, anyway, let me see how long I've been working already today. So I've already worked two hours and 13 minutes and I work from like 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. And now I'm starting my day because that, um, that's like finishing, you know, I finished my day and went to bed, but the way the app tracks it starts at 12 a.m. So I've worked some time already today. For my day, I have planned Olive and I. Oh, there's Puppy. Hello, Puppy. Oh, so cute. Um, I'm going to, I always start my day, get ready, and spend about uh, an hour or more with Olive outside. We like to go to the D-O-G-P-A-R-K. She does know that word, so I have to spell it. Um, but today, there is a creek behind my house, so I think I'm going to take her swimming. And so I'll show you guys that. You come along with us. I kind of want to go thrifting. I have only gone outsourcing twice in August. I'm trying to really cut down uh because i have a death pile and i'm working through it i'm very proud of myself but you know sometimes you just want to go thrifting so i'm thinking about going thrifting um other than that you know i'm probably gonna photograph a few things uh, i have to stop by the post office and then tonight i have plans with my mom to go to the d-o-g-p-a-r-k with olive and her dog guppy olive's best friend if you're wondering what's back here it's olive's window seat <laughs> yes she does have she has two pillow pits there and one in the kitchen via the bins um awesome place to get your dog blankets and pillow pets and towels and stuff anyway you probably know that if you have a dog um so i am going to start my day olive is spying on me while i get ready for the day now that I am ready for the day, it is time to say the magic word to Olive. Olive, do you want breakfast? Do you want breakfast? Should we go get some breakfast? Yeah, let's go get breakfast. Okay, let's go. Not the most flattering angle for me, but Olive is on a raw food diet. So she gets pre-made raw patties. I used to homemake her food, but yeah, I know you love food. Um, it's just so much work, so this is a lifesaver for me. A raw food diet for animals is controversial, but I've done a lot of research, sorry for the crinkling, and I feel that is the best thing to feed Olive. She also gets goat's milk. We use the primal goat's milk. Yes, which is literally her favorite part of the meal. She likes it more than the meat. I definitely recommend doing research if you have a dog or cat on how to if you use kibble make their meals better one of the ways is goat's milk and another way is bone broth 
So she gets a quarter cup of goat's milk. This is actually the pumpkin spice flavor. There's another brand I want to try out, but I have to drive to a further pet store. We go to like a bougie pet store that like has all the bougie pet stuff. I was my child and she's a black hole where my money goes to die. She'll also get like some mackerel or some fruit or some pureed pumpkin sometimes, but our pumpkin has gone bad. So I need to buy some new pumpkin, but this is what her breakfast looks like, and Olive is very excited. I feed her outside because she's crazy messy, so let's go, Olive. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, sit. Ah, 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 stop being crazy. Sit. Yes. Okay. Your breakfast? Okay, you know, sit. Good girl. Yep. And on normally, I don't feed her. Actually, that's not true. Sometimes I feed her in a people bowl, human bowl, but um, normally I like freeze. So it, the food comes frozen and then you thaw it. And so normally I thaw it in like containers individually for the day. Yes, I'm a crazy dog person. Um, so normally I thaw it in containers, but the bag of her food was almost empty. So I just thawed it in the bag it came in. Feeding your dog a raw food diet can be very expensive, but I would totally do some research to See if you're feeding not just your dog, but your cat, your ferret, your bunnies, any pet, the best diet possible. Um, what we've been told by commercials and the pet food industry is not necessarily true on what's healthy for your dog. Also, there's like a, there's a, it's a whole world of pet food, but this is what I believe is best for my dog. If you want to improve your pet's diet, there's totally some simple ways you can just add some nutrition into their food. So this is the first part of my day after waking up. We feed Olive. I just realized, I don't know if I ever introduced Olive on my channel. Um, in my old videos, you would see my red tick coonhound Huck. We had to put him down last summer. He had something called mega esophagus and there's no treatment for it. It was super sad. And then I left for Korea. And when I got home, I adopted a dog. One day I would love a bunch of dogs. I would love to foster dogs. But Olive is a good dog, a good single dog for right now. Uh, she was a rescue. She is probably a pit mix. We think maybe some bull terrier. Is your breakfast yummy? Uh, one day we'll probably do a DNA test on her just for fun to see what she is. We've done one on my mom's dog, Guppy. And, you know, it's just a lot of fun if you have a rescue because you always guess, but you never really know. I don't know how accurate the DNA tests are, but they're just fun. So, that is all of story. Oops, sorry. She was a rescue from a shelter. She was a stray. They picked her up in the woods in winter when she was just a little baby puppy. So sad. This is Olive's post-breakfast routine. Literally, after she finished breakfast, every single day, she goes and rolls in the grass. Um, if anybody knows why, I've never had a dog that's done that. I guess I've never fed a dog outside besides her. <laughs> but if you know why she does that, I would love to know. Oh, Alrighty, now we are going swimming. And this is the field behind our house. Super nice. I wish Olive would run around in it, but she'll go and check all the other neighbor dogs to see if they're home so she can't be off leash over here i feel like i'm filming olive too much for a day in the life of a full-time reseller she just met that corgi friend over there and they played for a few minutes which is super nice no wrong way olive we go this way oh just kidding she's pooping again anyway what i was saying is i mean i guess today you know i'm just filming actually what i do on a day and I do spend the first like hour to two hours of my day with Olive. So, I mean, I spend all day with Olive because, because I work from home. But, oh my gosh, again, she's pooping literally two seconds later. Okay, I totally forgot what I was trying to say. But basically, I love working from home because I can spend the first hour, two hours of my day with Olive. And so she gets pooped out while I work. She sleeps next to me while I work the entire day. And then I hang out with Olive again at night. Right, Olive? And we made it to the nice little creek area where Olive likes to go swimming. She's scaring all the minnows away right now. And there she goes. Olive has to be on her orange leash when she goes swimming in the creek because she has chased ducks before or like swam after them downstream and that was scary. So now 
She gets to be at her orange leash, so she can't swim away from us. And I guess just me today. Sometimes my dad comes with us. I say she looks like a water rat. She's so funny. I love that when the water is clear, you can see her little feet flipping and underneath the water. I would love to know if you take your dog swimming and they love it, what type of dog you have. Because I did not expect her to like swimming, but I was talking to a woman at the dog park who has pit bulls and said pit bulls do like swimming. I mean, she loves it. Also, I thought she would sink, but no, she swims very well. Not as well as a lab, because we've had our neighbor's lab over here with us before. But she does swim well. Ala found a swing somebody put up. And she's having a blast. <laughs> we are back. Olive needs a bath, but as much as she likes swimming, she hates the hose. I got all the mud off myself, so now it's time to try and get Olive bathed. I am back from the walk with Olive, and now, two hours after I woke up, I am going to start working. It is 1.35, so I'm going to start by sharing my closet. I use Closet Assistant. I am not a Posh or VA person, and I tried Poshmark's, you know, automated system they put up a week or two ago, and it was fine. Um, but this one's easier for me to use. I don't have to like scroll all the way to the bottom. And so I'm going to stick with this for the time being, closet assistant. So I'm going to let my closet share for a little bit to get things moving. I'm going to list an item. I look disgusting from being outside in the heat and humidity, but it's just for a little bit while I cool off. So I am going to let my closet share and can probably get like one item listed, maybe two items listed, eat lunch and see where the day goes from there. And I am going to watch YouTube videos while I list. Sorry if you can hear my dad's beating in the background. I'm going to start with this video because I'm looking to buy a car. So this is going to be exciting for me. All right, update. I am now watching some anti-MLM content. Sorry again, I'm being quiet because my dad's in a meeting. Um, I'm watching Paparazzi Convention Sucked. Bye. Savannah Marie. I don't usually watch her videos, but I was interested in this one. And I am currently listing a pair of Tory Burch flats. I will put the list in here so you can see what I'm working on. Alrighty, I finished my one listing and offer slicker, so now I'm going to eat my roast beef pot belly sandwich, which my dad picked up for me while watching some Modern Family. My dad is in the kitchen, or else I would be eating there. Now I'm eating on the couch. Um, I got really tired all of a sudden. I didn't actually sleep that well last night, so I kind of want to take a nap, but... I have stuff I need to do, so don't know what's gonna happen there. Here's my sandwich. It has cucumbers in it, and I did not get cucumbers, so I checked the bag like, hey, maybe for some reason it has cucumbers in it. No cucumbers. So, um, it's a little unusual tasting. I don't think cucumbers particularly go with this, but you know, I'm not a complainer, so I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Okay, I finished my lunch and I was really planning on going thrifting after lunch, but like this tiredness has hit me so hard all of a sudden that I'm going to take a nap. And this thrift store I wanted to go to closes at like 4 or 5, so I'm not going to have time to go there, which is a bummer. I haven't been there in a few months, but if I want to go thrifting when I wake up still, which for this video I feel like I need it to make it a little more exciting, then I will just go to a Goodwill close by before I have to meet my mom. See you after I wake up from my nap. Alright guys, I am up from my nap and I'm going to ship the two things that sold today. I had an amazing, amazing sales day yesterday. Like 600 over $650 in sales that came out of absolutely nowhere. I mean, I've been working really hard, but it was still like shocking. I had three sales that were over $100. I have already packaged up those items last night and I had two sales that came in today. Pretty low dollar sales, but I will still show you guys them. I also sold a pair, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I get mismatched shoes from Last Chance occasionally. They're pretty bad with matching shoes. Um, 
I sold a pair of those that I was like, you know what, I'm gonna list them. It was a four and a half and a five, and I have them listed for like a year, and finally they sold for $10. I was really just trying to get my money back, which I would have done, and I lost them. I reorganized my shoe system. If you can see here, I have them in these boxes so I can pull them out to ship. These ones are just up. And so I did that. I have some over here and some in front of me, and I've had it already where one pair of shoes, I didn't get inventoried, like a number didn't get put in the listing, so I had to go through the boxes. Luckily, it didn't take me too long to find it, but I thought the same thing happened with these Viaspeak shoes, and I went through every single box and could not find them, and they are not where they used to be, so I'm going to give myself another night, like tonight I'm going to try and find them again, but not spend too much time on it because it's literally a $10 sale, but I just, I don't think I'll ever sell these shoes again, so if... I'd find them, like, can't sell them, like, have to cancel the sale and find them again. I'm, like, not even gonna list them. I'm just donate them. Um, but I'm really hoping I can find these shoes so I can get my money back. But I'm gonna look for those tonight. For now, I'm gonna pull the two items I need to ship. Okay, I'll quick show you the two things that sold. I'm in a basement. I've said this before when you've seen my inventory space. So sorry, the lighting is crap. Okay, first item that sold. I will also pop this up, um, the sold listing, but is this Lulu's jumpsuit. No, this is not a jumpsuit. This is a rock no this is not a rubber bodysuit um i sold this lulu's bodysuit for like nine dollars and the funny thing is i sent the girl an offer last night for nine dollars and then she sent i commented this morning like can you do 17 dollars with this kind of chipping and i was like oh, oops but so then she saw my offer and accepted it that's fine um story behind this i got this from the bins i should have just taken it to plato's closet and now i'm doing buffalo exchange and like clothes no buffalo exchange and crossroads um, and Plato's Closet, but this was like, I've had it for over a year, should have taken it to one of those places, because it obviously wasn't worth my time, I made like a $5 profit, it was from the bins, and I will be doing that in the future, I don't know why I decided to list this piece, I guess I found stock photos of the Lulu's, I always find stock photos, so... Um, for Lulu's, I just stick to their dresses. I would sell their shoes, though. If I found them, they'd sell super cheap, but they have cute, trendy shoes, so I would sell those if I got them at the bins. Um, next another fast fashion not worth a whole lot of money brand a pretty little thing dress here's the tag quick i mean i'm sure you know what these two tags look like um i will also throw up the sold listing for this as you can see my room is a mess that's a whole nother story um but this dress i got from thread up for a while i was sourcing from thread up and now i'm not because of stuff like this i got this dress and it was flawed it had like snags all over it so i'm glad it sold for 25 dollars um my rule of thumb for pretty little thing is generally unless i'm getting it dirt cheap to pick up pretty little thing cocktail dresses new with tag and then they'll sell for over 20 dollars for me usually closer to 30 but um it's a risk picking them up because they don't retail for a whole lot I'm glad this sold for $20, especially, or $25, especially with the flaws. So those are the two things that sold today so far that are going out. And honestly, compared to yesterday, it's a pretty crappy day. But, you know, yesterday was so good that um, these two sales are fine. They'll just go out with all my other sales. Again, while I am shipping stuff i listen to youtube videos or podcasts or audiobooks or whatever and i'm continuing this paparazzi video today no fancy shipping setup i like to sit on the floor while i ship i didn't always but since i've moved to this house for whatever reason i like to sit on the floor so i keep my poly mails on the floor and the tissue paper on the floor and my stickers hang down i use thank you stickers i mean i've handwritten notes for the years and then i did thank you business cards for years and now i'm a thank you sticker person it's cheaper and easier so um i have got these shipping hip mailers that i absolutely love because of these awesome prints these are the palm leaves flowers i have the sunglasses one here and then of course i have like a thousand stored up in there um but they cost me a little bit more and so they're like closer to 20 cents a mailer i know you can do free shipping supplies and i do that for boxes but i just like to add they make me happy okay so i spend the money to make me happy however okay these ones are cheaper these are less than 10 cents a mailer and they are by you pack and ship and i don't like their designs as much i've had these for years i'm tired of them maybe like two years since they came out i've had these and so I'm tired of them. I'm trying to use them all up. I only have a few left. And I also have these you pack and ship mailers that I got recently. And they're 
um simpler um not as like i literally oh my gosh one time i had someone comment like something about the dead animal skulls and how it was disgusting and i'm like okay you're a vegan <laughs> anyway so if the item is not even for 25 i would do a you package it but for whatever reason i'm using these guys today oh wait i have some i can show you what am i thinking okay so yeah oops address on there okay no addresses so these ones i love these these are so fun this is all a bunch of sales that came in yesterday so oh these are magical mailers i got these um over a year ago and they are expensive they're kind of comparable to uh, shipping hip but for shipping hip i get a coupon that makes them more affordable so these guys i just had to have last year because of the bunny print so i tend to only use these for kind of expensive sales since they're like 25 cents a mail or something that's just how my brain works sorry if you can hear my fan going crazy during this quick voiceover but here i am just packing up these two sales i do tissue paper and then a thank you sticker and then just pop it in the poly mailer. I don't use extra plastic for the item because I try to avoid plastic at all costs. I know the poly mailers are plastic, they are recyclable if you take them to a grocery store, but that's just what I do. Okay, so I finished packing up my packages and I was literally walking out my door and my dad says that he needs to run up to the store as you can see him leaving out there. So that puts a wrench in my plan. Hopefully he'll be back in time for me to go to the post office and go thrifting for like 40 minutes. Um, this is why I need my own car, but you know, used car prices and new car prices are just so high. I was stopped at the dealership the other day just to check things out for a little bit and they're selling $10,000 over sticker price, which is just crazy. But you saw that video. Hopefully if you're in the market for a new year's car, I don't know about used car necessarily. I mean, new car, but used cars, should be going down the prices in the next few months like there's a whole thing if you're in the market definitely do your research don't go out and buy one today but if i could i would go out and buy one today but the prices are just still too high i have to turn this way for the angle so the sun is not blurring everything out we just had a situation update my mom has canceled our plans to go to the dog park tonight because our boss asked her to go to a work event i guess which is actually fine with me. I would have liked to see my mom, but I can see her tomorrow um, because I have not got any work done today and I just need to. So I guess maybe we'll hang out at Goodwill a little bit longer then. I don't know. It helps free up my night. We finished dropping packages off and I'm heading to Goodwill for a little bit. Um, I'm sitting in traffic. Don't worry, I'm not driving right this second. And that's the update. See you at Goodwill in a few minutes. Alrighty, we made it. Traffic is terrible. This drive should have taken like five minutes and it took way longer than that. This is by far not my favorite Goodwill, but it's the one closest to my house. It, it stuff is way overpriced and they don't get that good of donations, but you know, I still find stuff. So well, let's go. I'm trying not to spend too much money though. Time for the thrift with me voiceover. First I saw this basket thing. I thought it was super cool. My mom might want it, but it was $20 and I was like, pass. And that's going to be the theme for a lot of the stuff here is that it's overpriced. These Clarks were $10. I picked these up at the bins, uh, not much more than a dollar or two spent. This brand, like no name shoe brand, $13 pass. Those were not dance goes, like kind of a similar style, but they were $10 pass. These Vans, those were $15 pass. They sell for like $20, $25. I was really hoping to find some shoes today, but spoiler, I found none. There weren't that many good pairs of shoes and everything that was okay was overpriced. Like those out of date Steve Maddens, I would have passed them at the Vans. They wanted $14. These Nike shoes, they wanted $15. Wait, did I say 14? Okay, whatever. This chair was so cool. I was like, okay, that's a cool chair. And I went to check and it was $150. I'm assuming it was from Target because they do not, my locations do not accept furniture donations anymore, which is a bummer. This Target chair was $100. And this is like, I walked, I was like, oh man, this trip is gonna suck. There's nothing. Shein shoes, $10. While I had zero luck in the shoes, I did find some clothes, which we'll get to. These I'll pick up at the bins for a couple bucks, and these are a good brand of shoes. I would have paid like $7 for them, but not 10 So passed on those. Those were cute, but no name brand. Would have grabbed at the bins for Play-Dohs or Crossroads or Buffalo Exchange, whoever would buy them because they were cute and trendy. 
Okay, I did find this Hannah Anderson onesie and it was missing the price tag, but it was new a tag for $18 and luckily they gave it to me for $1.50. I'm taking a peek through the kids clothes because last time at this location I found a bunch of Hannah Anderson and here was a piece for dollars. It was actually two separate pieces they just had priced together but this as you can see had a lot of wash wear on it so I did leave it if there I would have grabbed it if it was in good condition. I just thought this was adorable and I wish I knew someone who had a baby but my friends are just out of college too young to have babies in my opinion. Here's crew cuts overpriced of course it was six dollars. Found some adult Lululemon hiding in the kids section for $10. I passed because it was an old style. Now I am going through the adult, I said that weird, adult um, athletic wear. And here's some of my athletic pants, older style for $10. And that is a theme with this location. Everything is, not everything, um, all athleta is $10. I didn't recognize that brand. I can't remember if I looked it up, but I did not purchase it. So it wasn't worth it if I did. I found this pair of Outdoor Voices leggings, which used to be a bolo, but is not worth that much anymore. I probably would have grabbed these for half off. Here's a pair of Noli leggings. These were half off for $3, so I did grab these. Although I believe Posh Athletica said that they're not selling great anymore. I figure, you know, for $3, there's still room for a profit. Now we're going through the pants section, and you gotta look through all the junk just to try and find a few gems. And here we have a pair of Babaton pants, and I would have grabbed these for half off, but they were, was it $8? And they were like an older style. Let me know if, oh, they were $6. Okay, they, they were size zero, $6, and looked to me to be an older style. Let me know if you would have grabbed those. I haven't had that much luck with Babaton in the past. Maybe I've just grabbed older styles. Here's a pair of Zara pull-on pants. They were half off for $4 because my Goodwill thinks Zara is amazing and prices all Zara high now. I did pass on these Lily Pulitzer leggings for half off of $8 just because they were super old style and honestly didn't have that much going for them. AG jeans, they were $5. I probably would have grabbed them for like $3 if they were in good shape, but not for $5. I really miss it like three, four years ago when all pants prices started at $5 and I could get them half off for $2.50. Those were free people, they were half off, but I thought the style was bad. And here's a pair of Anthropology, half off for $4. They're like a velour cropped pant. I don't really like selling Anthropology anymore, so I pass on most of it. Here is an awesome find. We got some mother jeans for $6 and that is a score. That is why I go thrifting. Just kidding, I go thrifting because I have an addiction, but yes, that was awesome. And here I realized I didn't have a thumbnail, so I was just kind of like, what should I do for a thumbnail? And then I found a pair of Patagonia pants. I don't come across a lot of Patagonia. I don't know why, and if I do, it's always marked up, and these were $10. I did decide to chance it and grab them for $10. Here is a Lulu's dress. They priced all Lulu's at $8 now. It's cute, but I didn't think it was cute enough for $8. A Lily Pulitzer dress, and I was like, man, it's $13. But I realized it's half off of $13, and I can grab it for $6.50. So I did. $6.50 is actually cheaper than what dresses start at now. They used to be $5.99, but now they're pretty much all like $7 or $8. Here's an Anthropology dress anthropology dress which i thought was cute but i checked comps super oversaturated and not really selling the first tag i showed you it came from another thrift store in the area which was kind of funny here is a free people dress it is super pretty like midi maxi and i was like okay i'll look it up since it's 13 but guess what the style tag was cut out of it and here is the cart i'm leaving with i got way more than i expected i would of course i forgot to bring my reusable bags so Oh man, you can't see it. I thought you'd be able to. I stuck it all back here. Yay. Oh my goodness, the sun. Isn't this like, is golden hour supposed to make you look good? Because this doesn't look good. But I'm heading home now. And I want to give you guys a haul. So hopefully maybe I can do like a quick haul. Not elaborate too much. Or else that would just like, this video would get too long. I am a tomato, I guess, in this light. Alright guys, we are back. And I'm going to do a car slash garage thrift haul because I don't feel like bringing this inside. What I feel like doing is since I forgot my tote bag, showing you guys what I got and then putting it in a tote bag. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. I grabbed some, I like to use these for, these are the free USPS. I don't know where it says what size they are. It is the small flat rate box. I don't know if that's like the only thing on there. 
Um, I like to use these for bras and sunglasses. I used to shave bras and poly mailers. I've never had a problem with it, but then I thought, oh my gosh, the wire could break. And so I switched to shipping them in a box. I said I didn't want to get a lot of stuff. I spent $184. First things first, I got Olive this soccer ball. She chews these up and I paid $3 for this used soccer ball. This one, like, I like to grab ones that maybe other people wouldn't want to buy. This was the only one they had though. And it does have someone's name on it though. So um, the one, what I mean by other people want to buy it is if they're really flat. I know you can put air in them, but the last one I bought was like maybe for someone's birthday party. It had names written all over it. So um, however, I did grab this one and she'll chew it up. Guys, it's a couple days later and Olive is playing with her soccer ball that I picked up in the vlog you saw. So I just figured I'd show you what, why I get her soccer balls from the thrift store. You can see it's already deflated. Okay, so this was the very first item I found. It's a Hannah Anderson onesie and the tag was off and the guy bringing me up, I told him, it was really friendly um anyway this is new with tags for $18 so uh not a whole like a big resale value but some resale value anyway I told the guy I didn't have a tag and usually they'd like call a manager over and I'd be like it's five dollars I feel like they always price it higher when the tag is pulled off for whatever reason I don't know how much he charged me for this I think he might have charged me a dollar fifty um but I'll have to check my receipt and see this I would expect like a seven to eight dollar profit, not very much, but it was there and it's cute, so. The other kids item I grabbed was, or is this mini Bowden strawberry print dress? And uh, I paid four dollars for this, which is like kind of the high, the top, five is like the tippy top of what I'll usually pay for kids clothes. So, grabbed this. I wish the lighting was better, but it's not, so gotta work with what we have okay i'm pretty sure i showed you guys this free people dress that i took a chance on for 13 dollars but it just it has some embroidery not like super fancy classic free people tag but it felt like it could be worth paying 13 dollars for because it's an embroidered lace midi dress almost maxi dress actually you know it yeah i'd call it a midi but it's kind of ankle length so um and the style tag was cut out, so that's a bummer. Um, I'll have to do some research and hope that it was worth $13. You cannot return at my Goodwills. They stopped that before COVID. Okay, I'm, I'm not a big vintage person, but for whatever reason, orange is half off, so this was $4, and I just, I couldn't leave it. If it was not a button front, I don't think I would have grabbed it, but I just love the button front detail. I'm not, I don't model clothes, but this I might model. We'll see. Um, I would think between like 25 and 35 for this dress. I was wrong. We have one more kids item. This is Arin Crafts, which is a like Ireland knit wear brand. It was half off for $1.50, a girl's sweater. So I figured I'd give it a try. I actually have a woman's full length cardigan I need to get listed, like cardigans knit like this. So it's photographed i just need to list it items like this i tend to not get listed right away because they're things that don't have stock photos and easily googleable information that i can just copy and paste into my listing so hopefully this is desirable enough to have paid a dollar fifty for it okay next is a i would say bolo maternity brand um nom i learned about it at last chance i picked it up there i have a few times I don't think I've ever thrifted it. I like selling it. <clears throat> selling it, I think it does pretty well. This was half off. This has some pilling on it. I'll sweater shave it. Honestly, it probably wasn't the best buy because there's pilling all over it, but uh, hopefully over a $30 sale. This is a hutch piece red velvet with a tie sleeve detail. This will probably be a better winter Christmas holiday party sale. I paid $8 for it. I grabbed this Lulu's dress and I did pay $8 for it. I tend to like to stick to um, formal, not oh, formal wear by Lulu's does really well, like their gowns, but also just like things that you could wear to homecoming. This is a little more casual than what I usually grab for $8, but it was new with tag. Uh oh, it looks like it went through the washing machine. But if you did not know, this is the new Lulu's tag. It looks like the old Lulu's tag, except the font is smaller. So. I grabbed this because it was new with tags, new Lulu's piece for $8.
Then I've never thrifted this brand before. I've only ever grabbed it at last chance like once. It is We Wore What, a super controversial brand, like the person, Danielle, whatever. Not a great person, it seems. This is a bodysuit, jumpsuit, romper thing. Ah, and it is missing a belt, it seems. But I was like, whatever, I'll pay, oh my gosh, $8. Well, I'll pay $8 for it and see how it does. Alrighty, I grabbed this Lily Pulitzer Marlowe dress. I did <clears throat> Google it, Google Lens it, because it was $13. But Lily Pulitzer with these like cotton dresses that are printed can be a surprise. And this one looked like I could probably sell it for over $40, so I grabbed it. Um, I already found a stock photo for it. Okay, this is Eliza J. I love selling this brand, but this is Royal Collection. This does look like a slightly older tag. I don't know anything about this Royal Collection. But since it is Eliza J and it's more formal lace dress, I grabbed it. I paid $8. Hopefully this will sell for over $30. Okay, these are some Bella Doll pants. And I sold a Bella Doll pant of pants back in June crazy fast for a decent amount of money. Um, this is the older tag. So I decided to grab these to see how they would do. Um, I'm not expecting too much. Hopefully about a $30 sale, which is not the best profit but I wanted to test it out and see if it's all Bella doll pants or just like the newer styles that do well okay this I did not search comps for because the store was closing I grabbed it it is XT EXTE Italy and um, when it has all these paper tags like this it is usually designer expensive and it was half off so it was four dollars just a black knit dress so I'll do some research on this and Hopefully it's worth some money. Oh, I dropped one. Okay, I have this exact dress um, I have not listed yet. It is Draper James Reese Witherspoon's brand. And this one was half off for $3.50. So I grabbed this. I don't think I have this listed. So I have another one of these in my death piling to get listed. So hopefully it does well. Update, this looks like it is a FabFit fun box piece and I tend to stay away from those things just because they're oversaturated, so who knows how it will do. Okay, I grabbed these Hugo Boss, I'm out of the frame kind of, Hugo Boss pants for half off, so they're $4, they're just trousers, I don't think they'll do amazing, but they're, you know, a luxury designer higher end brand to have in my closet. You saw me find this pair of mother jeans and I rarely find mother and I'm super surprised to find it at this Goodwill for $6. It is a raw hem, either, either skinny or straight leg jean. Okay, then I got these Zara pants. Uh, they were half off, so for $4 snakeskin pull on pants. These won't be a huge sale, hopefully between $25 and $30 but I do sell a lot of Zara. Okay, next I grabbed these Theory Red trousers for half off, so these were also $4. Again, probably gonna have to sit on them for a while and not gonna be the biggest sale, hopefully about $35 on these, but inexpensive. Oh, that was a new tag theory too. Um, so expensive brand to have in your closet. I got these Athleta leggings for myself. I probably would have grabbed some of the other newer athletic leggings to resell if they didn't have them all marked at $10, but I just grabbed these for myself because I'm pretty sure I have these in black and I love them. Okay, this is a great brand to find and at half off. I was super happy. Commando, I'm sorry, can't really see the tag. It is also Commando Control. I think that is an older, like their older name. Now there's Commando. These are like a pleather legging high rise. I paid $3.50, they should sell for like over $40. Okay, this is a brand I learned from Posh Athletica, but I think she's saying it doesn't do too well anymore. It is Noli, and they are printed floral leggings. Um, and I picked them up for $3, they're half off, so that is why I got them. I don't know if I would have paid full price for these. So if they sell for $25, I'm fine with that. Okay, then I found these Beyond Yoga leggings, and I was about to give up in the athletic section, and then I found these, and I was like, okay, I'll keep going for a little bit longer, and then I found some other stuff so these are like a water print almost legging um hopefully about 35 on those i don't know if you saw me find these or not these are cool pants they were also half off and so again hopefully these are an over 30 dollar sale oh my gosh you definitely saw me 
find these. I put them in the video there. Patagonia pants. I rarely find Patagonia where I am. Um, and these were marked up to $10. And I didn't know if it was worth it. But again, I was not, I didn't have all of this stuck outside with me. I did not know. Uh, I didn't have enough time to like search out the style and stuff. So I just took a gamble on these knowing that I would at least make my money back if it was a bad buy. All right, last three items. I grabbed these Lululemon leggings and they are like a, almost like a short, like a knee crop. They could even be not biker shorts. I don't know. Lululemon short. And I grabbed them because they're size 12 and they are a newer style because on the interior, they have the numbers around the size dot. I paid ten dollars which i was not willing to pay any more than this i probably wouldn't have paid ten dollars if it was a smaller size because of the weird length but because it was a 12 i decided to grab them and give them a shot now i'm super surprised to find this is a new with tags wilford dress and actually the quality looked kind of cheap but i just pulled it out because i personally like the neckline like the square neckline it's got like a ruffle trim it was only eight dollars for new with tags and it has the new with tag price of 158 on it i was surprised so yeah super stoked with this find and last item guys that i picked up today another lily pulitzer dress and you would think that these ones would do better than the one i showed you previously but usually these ones don't sell for as much however this was 13 dollars half off so i grabbed it to test out um lily pulitzer at size eight and it's a monkey print Worst comes to worst, I sit on it for two years and sell it for 25 because that's happened to me before. Maybe even longer, but yeah, okay. That's it for the haul. My dad was yelling at me to come eat dinner, even though when I make dinner, he like takes forever to come eat with me. So I'm gonna go eat dinner now. Here's our dinner. We got some grilled chicken, some grilled peaches, some green beans, some rice. Jake is cutting some pickles. We are having Middle Eastern chicken, so we're gonna have hummus and garlic and pita bread with it. I will be taking Olive on a walk because she went crazy. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you need a walk? Come on, Olive. Oh, she's pooping on the sidewalk. That's something she does, guys. We usually go on a nighttime walk and I listen to an audiobook, maybe for like 45 minutes to an hour every night or most nights. But you know, tonight, um, because I have stuff to do, I think we're gonna cut it short and maybe just go on like 20 minutes or half an hour. I finished up all the things that I needed to do, not reselling related, for the night. So now I will be working until I go to bed. It is 10 18. I got Olive is tired enough to go to bed. I have all of the inventory I need to cut tags off of and put into my spreadsheet. I do, everyone does, you know, their inventory different. I do it item by item and then price per item and then this yellow highlighted is what's sold. All right, I'm split screening one side inventory while I watch Ginger Marvin's live, although, um, I might switch in and watch something else a little bit because they started streaming 81 minutes ago, so it's probably going to end soon. All right, here I am doing a task I rather like doing with reselling. It was just cutting off all the tags and inventorying it into my spreadsheet. And this is a last chance haul. You guys haven't seen it. Um, these are a pair of Nike shoes, and it took me literally forever to pull off those tags. I wish it went that fast, but this footage just sped up. So... This is what I will continue doing for the next hour or so. And coming up here, I am showing you a candidate of what should I wear to my cousin's wedding in October. I really like this dress. I've never heard of the brand before, uh, but I did grab it at last chance. So sold at Nordstrom and I don't think I showed the tag. Anyway, I have bought like three or four dresses now. Oh, here it is. So who knows what I'll wear in October. Here is an update. We're going through the Goodwill stuff tags pile of clothes over here stuff in here sleeping dog here spreadsheet this is my mackenzie um right that's her name i think <laughs> I, want, I only watch her videos sometimes um sleeping dad and another pile of clothes right there i'm running out of space clearly i finished guys almost about an hour later Finished Last Chance, finished the Goodwill stuff I got today. Um, this was $1.50, that's what he charged me for, so that's nice. Ah, oh, it's moving. <laughs> okay, I'm officially done with the inventory spreadsheet task. Now I will be listing for the next however many hours. 
because I haven't gotten much of that done today and that's what's gonna make you money. All the stuff I did is great and it's all work, but uh, I need the list stuff to sell stuff to make money. It is 12 a.m. so technically the day is over. I worked exactly seven hours today, um, which is under eight hours, like a full-time day, but I do pretty much always work seven days a week. So I kind of work more than full-time, but you know, sometimes it evens out because like the other day I only worked five hours. Technically like my day is not over because I'm not gonna go to sleep for a couple more hours. I am tired for whatever reason. I've just been so tired today. I listed a few items and now I'm actually going to start editing this YouTube video because all the clips in my camera roll are driving me crazy while I list. I'm working on editing the video. It is 12.41. I don't want to be ed spending my whole night doing this, but I want to get some of it done. Anyway, I feel like I'm talking too much about Olive, but it's hard not to talk about her because she's so adorable. So I guess I'm going to see if I can cut <laughs> any of this down. Stretches. I feel like I've gotten to a good place to stop for the night, especially because I'm going to need to do a voiceover for the quick thrift with me. And you can still hear my computer fan. <laughs> um, let's see, end it right now. It's at 22 minutes and I still have a decent amount of stuff to add into it. We have the whole thrift haul to add into, which is probably gonna be close to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna keep these updates short and by that, I mean, this will probably be the last update. I finished YouTube for the night, um, and I'm going to list some and probably eat a snack and then come say bye to you guys at whatever time it is. All right, guys, you have made it with me to the end of my day, the end of my, what is it called? Day in the life of a full-time reseller. It is almost 3 a.m. and I am just too tired to keep working, so I'm calling it here. I have worked like two hours and 40 minutes today. So this day that the app has started tracking at 12 a.m. I have worked almost three hours like two hours and 40 minutes which is a pretty good start and as I said earlier I finished the previous day I mean it is technically the next day but I'm still awake I have finished that day with seven hours so pretty close to eight hours and I work seven days a week so I'm happy with that. If you watched this whole video, thank you guys so much for watching. If you skipped through some of it, I totally understand. Thanks for making it to the end. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It would help me out in the algorithm. And Sleepy Olive says goodbye.